More companies today are taking advantage of Amazon Web Services for their web and cloud-based services, especially on-demand scalable instances. The Layer 7 Secure Span Gateway supports the ability to automatically scale with your web services. A gateway cluster has been deployed for this scaling demonstration, as well as an additional gateway providing configuration for the cluster using elastic block storage and relational database service. The instances that make up the cluster are managed using Amazon Autoscale and CloudWatch, with elastic load balancing in front of the cluster that distributes the incoming load and dynamically updates when instances are added or removed from the cluster. Please note, Various sequences have been shortened in this video. I've previously created an instance running a configuration gateway with a policy that is called by the internet facing gateways to get cluster information when scaling up a new instance. The policy confirms the calling gateway is on Amazon EC2 and in the demonstration cluster before sending up the cluster in configuration. I have also previously configured the auto scaling and load balancing using the Amazon EC2 management console and the command line tool supplied by Amazon. The elastic load balancer is configured to add new instances as they are created to the load balancer and remove them when they are terminated by the auto scaling. Auto scale was previously configured to launch a new instance if existing instances have an average CPU load of 80% for at least 4 minutes and terminate instances if the average CPU load drops below 50% for at least 4 minutes. I have a terminal open and using the command line tools to interact with the auto scaling feature on Amazon because for demonstration purposes I am not running any gateways in the cluster at the moment, just a configuration gateway. Now, I'll update the autoscale properties to allow for a minimum of one instance to be created with a maximum of three instances allowed. Amazon has now launched a gateway instance, and once the instance is ready, the load balancer will indicate it's ready to send traffic to it. As this instance will never be terminated by autoscaling, I can log into this instance via the policy manager and perform my policy configuration, check audit logs, and the cluster dashboard on this instance. Any policy changes or additions I make here will be propagated to all gateways when they are launched. We can view the dashboard and take a look at the cluster tab. This is currently the only gateway in the cluster, so I'll keep this dashboard around for the demo. I've prepared a test case for SOAPY to have it send requests not to the gateway, but to the load balancer at the address provided by Amazon. I'll start sending requests continuously to the load balancer and can confirm on the gateway dashboard that the requests are coming into the gateway for processing. Now, for this demo, I will run a script that will deliberately put the gateway instance under heavy load, as autoscale is configured to launch a new instance when CPU utilization averages more than 80% for at least 4 minutes. As you can see, Autoscale has launched a new instance of the gateway as the first instance has averaged over 80% CPU load over the last 4 minutes or so. This gateway will be fully operational in a few moments. The load balancer has added the second instance automatically and will forward traffic to two gateways once the second gateway is available. While the second instance of the gateway is starting up, the auto scaling has started up the third and final instance as the average load across all instances is still above 80%. The second instance of the gateway is now available and has joined the cluster. It will start receiving requests from the load balancer shortly. Now the second instance is running smoothly and the third instance has joined the cluster. Load balancing is now forwarding traffic to three gateways. All this time, SOAPY has continued to send requests to the load balancer, which has continued to route the traffic to the gateways fairly equally once the gateways were able to begin processing requests. So now it's time to kill the script process that's consuming all the CPU in the first gateway. Autoscale is now terminating the two instances due to low CPU load. You'll note SOAPY is still sending requests. The dashboard now shows that two gateways are unavailable, with one still processing requests. This last one will not terminate because Autoscale has been told to always keep at least one instance around. The load balancer is now sending requests to the only remaining gateway without interruption or error. This concludes the short demonstration of using the Layer 7 Gateway with Amazon EC2 and Autoscaling. For more information on Layer 7 or any of its products, visit us on the web at www.layer7tech.com or send an email to sales at layer7.com.